Sorry, cat. If you wanna be live, this is your chance. This is your chance. Say hello. Hello there, guys. I'm Joy. I am Niblet K's cat, and I do what what I want. And right now, I want to be loved. Yes. So, hello there, guys. Welcome to this section of trailers, trailers. Oh my God, we got so much. I can't even see like the first letter of all of the videos we got opened so i'm just gonna jump straight into it also I, I need to do one small thing over here just to be safe i don't even know where my phone is one sec there we go good i ain't wasting no more time not your time so we're gonna jump do you guys do you guys see that? That's how much we got to go through. There was the Nintendo Direct thing. So a lot of shit is going on this day. This day we got a bunch of stuff. First we got the Clona Fantasy Reveal Series. I hope this ain't too loud. Anyway, here is Clonoa. Might be a little bit loud. 25th edition. We got Klonoa 1 and Klonoa 2, I think, was... Yeah. They were revealed. So they're coming to the Switch? Possibly even PlayStation or other, other consoles like. Nice nostalgic games. Cool. No. What? A nerd? You must have and then there's Klonoa too. I'm probably gonna lose my voice in this one. Oh, here we go anyways. <laughs> one and two. Are they gonna say where it comes out? Hey Cam, more coming soon to PS5 and PS4. Okay, I think it's coming to the Switch as well. So they just didn't say that in this trailer specifically. Jumping right to the next one, we got Chrono Cross. Uh, let's take a look at this one. How's the nip today? A little bit cold, a little bit <laughs> not very well. But we've got a bunch of game trailers to go through, so uh, I'm trying to plow through it. It's gonna be like an hour almost. So this is a remake of an old game. Remake or remaster? I'm not sure on how these things are called. <clears throat> I mean, it's always nice, even if they don't really remake completely the game with a uh, new engine and whatnot. If it's just an up of the, the old game and you can still play it on newer consoles and you don't have to go through all the shit of finding old, old tech to play old games. Actually, it's a very good series. Make it run on new hardware. Yep. I agree with we'll just just bring all of the games. I mean even if the graphics don't improve, just let it let it be a little bit higher res so that it works on the new monitors and new TVs. And let us still enjoy. 
all all of the old stuff. I like backwards compatibility. Give us the option. Available April 7th on digital. Okay. Nice. Right to the next one. We got another Nintendo Direct Chrono Cross The Radical Chrono Dreams Cross Edition. In the triumphant return of this RPG classic. A remaster of the acclaimed RPG okay. Chrono Cross. So that's why I left both of them, because they're showing different things and this guy's talking over it. So it's a remaster. Protagonist Surge wanders into an alternate world. Though it somewhat resembles his home world, he finds that he no longer exists here. How did this happen? What is this mysterious another world? Travel back and forth between both worlds to unravel the story. Interesting. Over 40 characters can join your party. Cool. Depending on the choices you make, the allies who accompany you and the endings that trigger will differ. A number of So there's a lot of replay replayability. Remaster, like the ability to turn off enemy encounters and a newly enhanced soundtrack. Plus, Radical Dreamers, originally released on the Satellaview, is included. Experience oh. the origins of Chrono nice. Cross in this text-based adventure. Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamers edition, dashes and slashes its way okay, onto so there it goes. Switch April 7th. April 7th. Begin today on Nintendo e Guys, don't, don't do pre-orders. <clears throat> Next, we have a DLC for the Scarlet, Scarlet Nexus Brain Eater, it's called. <clears throat> it all must have started then. Just how much time have I wasted? I saw a lot of hype for this game, and then nobody played it. You have that look in your eyes again, Corin. I don't want it's not a bad game. Kill each other. But, I don't know. You just got pushed down the list of everyone's... Uh, what to play? Is, is this Karin? It doesn't matter what you know. I won't change. What was that attack? I've never seen that. Impressive, I must say. Because it's new. It's a DLC, man. How could you see it? it wasn't implemented in the game yet, dude. New costume sets. Oh. It's all about powers. Working as Different shade of black. Our bonds give us strength. Air attire. Masakazu Yamashi. Free update, okay. Photo mode, okay. Oh, that's cool. Sorry, everyone. Very hard difficulty. I thought you were tougher than that. <laughs> And more. Yuito, you can do this. Of course. This is the moment of truth. Wait, what? Pre update. Okay. Nice. Bandai Namco. Nice. Go check it out. That, that looks sick. Next, we got a Valentine's day trailer for brawlhalla this should be interesting oh my god shoot him with your love arrows it's a brawler man it's a it's a free bra brawler brawlhalla the game that loves you back The game that loves you back. Now that was funny, okay. Moving on. Wolf Among Us 2 has its first reveal trailer. People are actually excited about this one. Why is it so... Quiet. Oh, it, this looks good. I don't know, someone gets greedy, someone gets brave. The first game was a blast. Yeah, I know. A lot of people are excited about the second one right about now. Yeah. Because of how good the first one was. Took me weeks to track them down. Nice. They hadn't cast so much as a shadow. Till that night. Looks very good. You've been 
hesitant to share with us. I assume it has something to do with confidentiality associated with the job. Ooh, is that Doctor Doom? Scarecrow. Something like that. Your boss, Miss White, said things didn't go as planned. She mentioned that there was some violence. <laughs> <laughs> he set the scarecrow on fire. In the moments when you find yourself, oh, that's the Tin Man. Yeah, the Tin Man and Scarecrow. How does the anger manifest itself? <laughs> Looks very nice. Very nice. Moving on. Unbound Worlds Apart release trailer. This one looks nice. I like that character already. Oh, yeah. Platformers. Hell yeah. Give me. Give me more Ori Ori style games. Huh. I didn't even start, man. Unfortunately. I would love to, but right now my time is very valuable. So we are currently, currently focusing a lot on games because I love games. Now I want to keep up with news and things about games. I want to be able to talk with all of you guys about games. What the hell? Now this looks very good. It's out now. This looks very good. Unbound. Nice. Okay, now let's get on with our... Here's the first one. Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Mouthful model reveal. Oh no, it's the doggies! The furry doggies! Go, Kirby, go! The way our show is structured now, Cam, is a little bit uh, weird. I'm trying to do as much as I can in the time that I have. Oh, look at Kirby, he's a car. Uh, this game is gonna be. It's Kirby's latest unforgettable 3D platforming adventure. It's gonna be played Kirby a lot. Forgotten land. It it looks cool. Place I mean, I like Nintendo world games. With an mix of nature and civilization. To rescue the kidnapped Waddle Dees, Kirby sets off on a new Waddle Dees. Introducing mouthful mode. Inhale a car to zoom around. A vending machine to attack with juice cans. <laughs> or become a piercing cone. Uh, okay. With mouthful mode, new actions will be available for Kirby depending on the object he inhales. I said they are freaking expenses as well as the hardware. Enjoy exploring with new moves different from copy abilities. Kirby can even weaponize a mouthful of water like this. 
As Kirby rescues Waddle Dee's, Waddle Dee Town will continue to grow. Oh, More that's nice. Resources will become available. Nice progression system, not just going through the levels. At Waddle Dee's weapon shop. Familiar copy abilities can be evolved. Hmm. Evolve copy abilities to expand Kirby's range of attacks. They'll also change Kirby's appearance <laughs> and make him even more powerful. That's actually cool. Some copy abilities may have stronger evolved forms. A new adventure awaits our pink puffball. Who are the I, so I gotta say, this actually what looks very nice. Trying to do? Can Kirby restore peace to this world? Kirby and the Forgotten Land launches on the Nintendo Switch system March 25th. 25th. Pre nice. Available now Don't pre-order. Nintendo eShop. All right, moving on. Front mission first remake announcement trailer for the Nintendo. Like I said, we're gonna have a lot of. Yesterday was the Nintendo Direct. You guys can check out the whole show if you want to, or just stick around and see all the tidbits very fast. So this lo uh, this looks kind of cool. There's a lot of mechs. It's a tactical game. Squeenix. Front mission first. Okay. So they didn't actually show a whole lot of this. Um but yeah. It's a it's a tactical game. Also, No Man's Sky is coming to the Nintendo Switch. Every atom procedural leaf tree bird fish rock ocean cloud rune star sun galaxy planet 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 I didn't know about the, the show. Uh, I just got home yesterday and it, it, people were waiting in line to see the live show, so I just watched it, I guess. No Man's Sky Nintendo Switch Edition. So this game has been out for a long time, it's just coming to the Switch. So they're bringing everything that No Man's Sky has to offer. For the time being. So a lot of exploration, flying around, planet to planet, building bases, doing stuff like that, uh, being an outlaw, fighting, like I said, everything that No Man's Sky has to offer comes to the Switch now. Uh, when exactly does it say No Man's Sky? And no, it does it does not. Moving on. Splatoon 3, the Salmon Run, next wave trailer. This one's a funny one. They're all tactical and shit. So apparently Splatoon 3 is a thing. There's a lot of PB of endless hordes of salmon fish. Also, bosses. Uh oh. And the music is insane. I mean, the same thing, bad, weird. So there's a salmonite fish that wants to splat you. My lord, this this is too much. 
Egg throw! Wow, you can throw eggs! That, that was a shark. Okay. A lot of, uh, a lot of big fish. Endless hordes are coming. Oh, do you need to break the eggs somewhere? Okay. Ah, I see. So you do have an objective. Also, there's like a big Godzilla-like salmon. So there we go. Next wave. Salmon run. For the Splatoon 3 announced. Okay, cool. Moving on. Mario Strikers. This seems so much fun. It's a chaotic football game in the Mario universe. And it's very tactical and insane. La 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 la. This feels like a lot of fun. That, that was a foul. There you go. Mario Strikers Battle League. <laughs> Battle League. For strike, a five on five sport like soccer that's way heavy on offense. Aim for goals by dribbling and passing to teammates, as well as by using tackles, items, and crushing special shots. The main rule in this sport is to rule the field. Uh. Try to score more goals than your opponents. Well, that's the main goal in any kind of sport with, with points. Strategies. First, the gear you equip. It changes not only your appearance, but also your stats. Like oh, speed, interesting. Strength and pass accuracy. Customize as you see fit. Second, the hyper strike. That's actually interesting. To activate this shot, grab an orb when it appears on the field and charge it while your opponents are distracted. Hit the net and you'll score not one, but two goals. Huh. Up to eight players, four players on each team can compete against each other on one Nintendo Switch system. Whoa, that's insane. In addition to individual matches, online play will have an online club mode. Oh, that's Join cool. In-game club and compete for placement in the rankings. Up to 20 players can join a club. Uh, Eduardo. So create your own and invite friends and family to play alongside you. Or join an existing one owned by other players. Try to become the world's top club. With items. Tackles. <laughs> and hyper strikes. Anything goes on this field. Mario Strikers. Available Battle June 10th. Launches on Nintendo Switch. June 10th. That's cool. That actually is cool. Next we got Advanced Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp. We've got more intel on the Advanced Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp game. In the first campaign, this looks like a funny game. Provides a colorful cast of commanding officers and use their abilities in vibrant turn-based battles. Each commanding officer is now voiced. Bring even more charm to these characters. You're gonna get hurt. I see right through your plans. Another full campaign awaits in Advance Wars 2: Black Hole Rising. More commanding officers and more diverse terrain can be leveraged for additional tactical opportunities like blasting through pipelines to cross into enemy territory. <laughs> in both campaigns, you can fast forward gameplay and reset your turns for a smoother tactical experience. Flex your strategic muscles outside of both campaigns with additional modes. I think this game is a lot of fun. High scores in the war room. I think this game is a lot of fun. custom maps in the design room. Oh, that's so cool. And frenemies in local and online multiplayer. Roar. Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp. Available Launches April 8th. This April is definitely going to be a lot of fun. Are available now, on 
Next we got Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes. Now this is taking the game of the already Fire Emblem Three Houses and a new story apparently, but they changed the game completely. And I guess there's going to be two boats for this one. People are either going to be like super stoked about it and love it. Or other people are going to be super disappointed by it and not love it because it's this kind of style of game. It's not a strategic game anymore. I mean, not a turn-based strategy game with huge armies. I have ambitions, Edelgard. Real ones. See? See? It all depends on how fluid and good that the combat is, I guess. The story is going to be good, no matter what. That's for sure. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. We shall survive, and we shall win a glorious future for Bodlin. Now that I know, I won't make the same mistake again. That, 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 that's a big drag. Just saying. Revenge is not a thing you take for someone else. You seek revenge to slake your rage and heal your wounded heart. I know you are prepared to do whatever that you must. June 24th. Now well, we got a long time for this one. So, um, wait on it a little bit. Jump into the next one. We got the Taiko no Tatsujin Rhythm Festival. Get those Taiko drumming skills ready. You can play this game on the Xbox the Game Pass, I think. Or a variation of this one. Set in Omiko City, the sacred town for I don't think it's the Rhythm Festival. Become a Taiko Master, along with brand new character Kumokyun. Drum to dozens of bop and beats, including Megalovania, Gurenge, Feel Special, and Racing into the Night. And that's not all. An orchestral nice. version of the main theme from The Legend of Zelda is included. That's cool. 76 songs total. Plus, take advantage of a practice mode to replay sections of songs as many times I think as this you game like. is fury inducing and very addictive. On a live concert with up to four players in Donchen Band. Or oh, that's cool. against each other in Great Drum Toy War. What? There's so much on the screen. When Taiko no Tatsujin Rhythm Festival launches on Nintendo Switch this year. Plus, a paid in-game subscription service that gives you access to over 500 songs will be available at launch. That's a lot of songs, chat. It's a lot of songs. Uh, okay, Disney, apparently, is getting their own kart racing game. Disney and Pixar Combat Racer. Disney and Pixar, okay. From the creators of the Asphalt series comes rip-roaring racing action. Oh, the Asphalt series. Those are actually good games for the mobile. Racing a roster of characters on high-speed circuits. Using each one's special abilities to battle for victory across the finish line. Was that Mulan? Sully for monstrous power, or Mulan for explosive maneuvers. Yep. Each racer also possesses powerful ultimate skills, perfect for turning the tables at the last second. Disney Speedstorm is a free-to-play game with new seasons added regularly, free to play more exciting game. Disney and Pixar characters, circuits, carts, and more. Plus, enjoy cross-platform play as well as split-screen and online multiplayer modes. Disney Speedstorm races onto Nintendo Switch this summer. That's cool. It's a free game. Definitely worth trying out. Uh, next we got Welcome to Earthbound. I think I've seen a little bit of Earth. No. Hi there. Welcome to Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. You've probably seen Ness in this game before, right? Say hi, Ness. Okay. That'll do. I think many folks know Ness from the Super Smash Brothers series. And he's been there from the very start. Yep. So now we'd like to share more about his story. Come on over here, Ness. What? Did did he just explode? Can we get another Ness? Oh, good. He's fine. 
Hey, that's great. So Ness is a kid who enjoys hanging out with his friends and going on fun adventures. And now is a great time to get to know so Ness's story and these more. These are old because games. Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings are available to anyone with a Nintendo Switch Online membership. Now, but they're coming to, to the Switch. That also happens to be the site of a mysterious meteor crash. And Ness here is the curious type and simply had to investigate. There, he meets a bee. Okay, but it's not really a bee, but it is from the future, and it utters a prophecy about a boy who will stop a great evil, setting off a bizarre series of events. This is cool. <laughs> no, there aren't any mage lords or dreary dungeons in this RPG. In this story, you control Ness and his friends, who are ordinary kids with extraordinary potential and a knack for standing up to mean people. In fact, just about everyone is oddly angry, like the neighbor's dog or this titanic ant, not to mention the killer robot from the future. <laughs> you hear me? Aliens are taking over, and the adults don't care. You better do something. But you're also a okay, kid, the presentation so you is out of your so good. First. Because the game has such a cool concept seem, there are no about what, what is an RPG seem. worth playing. Enemies run right at you, so try sneaking up on them first if you can. <laughs> if you win, you'll earn experience points, and you may even level up and gain otherworldly psi abilities like hypnosis or brain shock. After a battle, oh, you may get an item, weird. or you may find one by exploring? Uh, or chatting with local politicians. These items can be used to what? open up new paths, and you're gonna need them. Because there's more going on here than just angry people and animals running amok. Something is coming. Something dark and unforgiving. The aliens! Unless you can help <laughs> Ness find the courage, confidence, and friendship he'll need to save us all. So. Earthbound. Available now for Nintendo Switch Online members. Along with Earthbound Beginnings. In this origin story, a young boy named Ninten will take up a baseball bat and psychic powers to battle everything from crazed hippies to a magic snail. Hmm. Find out what's causing these strange phenomena. Use familiar attacks like PK Fire and maybe just save the world along the way. So, Nintendo Switch I've seen people can play be a little bit Nintendo's upset about Mother Tree not coming Switch there. So apparently no there was there's a third Both game and it's really now. good. And uh, they should definitely do that as well. Metroid Dread is getting a free a update, free update is coming to the Metroid Dread game. for the hardcore players. One hit. Even from this. And you're dead. Getting hit even once causes a game over in the brutal and you're dead. Mode difficulty. Can you face this new challenge? And for players new to the Metroid series, take advantage of increased recovery with the newly added Rookie Mode difficulty. Rookie Mode. Okay, Baby Mode. This free update launches later today. A second free update in April will add a Boss Rush Mode, in which oh, you'll that's battle cool. bosses continuously, one at a time. That's actually cool. So, there are free updates that really make the game better for people that enjoy it. <clears throat> Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is getting a booster course past DLC. Um, this one's a hefty one, but you're getting a ton of tracks from the old, from the old games. DLC courses will be coming to the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game. It's kind of weird that this you gotta pay for them. This is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass. You may recognize some courses from past Mario Kart games. Hmm. Eight courses will be released at a time over six waves. That's 48 additional courses we plan on releasing by the end of yeah, 2023. Yeah, you got... Paid the DLCs, yeah. Such as Coconut Mom. I don't feel about it. It's a little bit weird. I mean, there's a lot of... 8 times 6 is a lot. And math is hard. So I ain't even gonna bother.
I guess it's worth it to people that really enjoy Mario Kart and play it a lot, but it's $25. You're not even getting everything at the time. I mean, you gotta wait a couple of weeks. You can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost with the Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack membership. Okay, so I guess if you have the membership, then you're good. Other than that, I don't know. The DLCs will be more expensive than the game, maybe. Uh, Portal Companion Collection is coming to the Switch. Oh, it's you. It's been a long time. How have you been? How have you been? The dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing. Just like old times. Sorry about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. Uh -huh. By the way, thanks for that. The important thing is you're back with me. Nice. Okay, so those are definitely good games. Try them out. Triangle Strategy Final Trailer for the Switch. This one's a heftier one, but we've seen a couple of um, trailers for this game. And um, this is your typical JRPG, like really old school fashioned with ton of story, ton of characters, ton of grinding, character progression, you know, things like that on the matter. Also, just a sec, guys. Postman. I should have left this running. Game footage not final? Really? I think it's it, it is. It's pretty much is. So. Today, we fight not for glory or pride, but for survival. So, like I said, ton of characters, ton of skills, a lot of story, a lot of concept art, a lot of good music, a lot of characters, a lot of story, a lot of battling, a lot of leveling up, a lot of doing a, a shit ton of stuff, probably a shit ton of replayability because it seems like you got two routes or maybe even more to go. And yeah, tactical. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. My power to see us through this safely. I can't wait for this game. This this looks look like a nice uh, time sinker. Available March fourth. Haha. <laughs> Recuperated a little bit of time on that. Okay. Nintendo Switch Sports is coming. So this one's a big one. It's a new. They're getting the Nintendo Sports, Sports back. Nintendo Switch Sports. that we used to love on the Wii. And now we get them on the Switch. Let's begin that is so sports. cool. You might recognize them from past Wii Sports games. Tennis. Tennis. Rally by gently swinging the Joy-Con controller at the right time. Bowling. Bowling. Roll the ball straight ahead or give it a little curve. Joy. And Chambara. Knock your opponent I off the platform. I actually never played Chambara. Plus, three additional sports are joining the lineup. Volleyball. Soccer. Soccer. Use okay. Use a gigantic ball to make dynamic plays. Enjoy matches with Joy-Con controllers Boom. to shoot and nice play score. headers. By attaching a Joy-Con controller to the leg strap accessory included with the physical version of the game, you can play shootout mode with intuitive kicking motions. Oh, that's weird. Badminton. That's gonna be a workout. Control your shots left and right while keeping the shuttlecock in the air. Unleash powerful smash shots to gain Boom. the upper hand. Got him. Volleyball. Use a Joy-Con controller to serve, bump, set, and spike the ball. Spike it. The game supports local play with family and friends on one Nintendo Switch system, Ooh. as well as online. Are we gonna get golf? 
play against friends online, or opt for random matchmaking. The more you win, the tougher the players you'll face. Try taking on this challenge. Mmm. Elimination. The Nintendo Switch sports game launches April 29th. April 29th, okay. Oh. A free update is scheduled for this summer that lets you play soccer matches with the Joy-Con controller and the leg strap accessory. You can use the accessory to play shootout mode at launch. Nice. In addition, a second free update that lets you enjoy golf will launch this fall. Nice. Plus, an online golf is so good. Is planned before launch to evaluate various technical aspects. It will only be available for players with an active Nintendo Switch online membership for the dates shown on screen. If you're interested, please visit the official Nintendo website. Okay, for that's details. a little bit weird, but hey, ton of cool, sh cool shit is coming. Now this is a weird one. Live alive, because that's how they they say it is. Comes alive. Why is this game so interesting? Well, it's an old school RPG. But it's actually more RPGs in one. Or different styles of games in one. You go through a myriad of stories. Outside of Japan, the RPG Live Alive makes its overseas debut, now in HD 2D. Multiple stories featuring different protagonists and time periods await. The order in which you tackle them is up to you. Prehistory, a tribesman comes of age in a world without words. The <laughs> Wild West, a wanderer with a bounty on his head fights for his life. Imperial China, a kung fu master searches for a worthy successor. Twilight of Edo, Japan. A shinobi undertakes an important secret mission. Present day, a martial artist strives to become the strongest there ever was. The near future, a youth with psychic powers takes a stand against evil. The distant future, a newly built robot is swept up in a tragedy in space. What other stories are on the horizon? So this is definitely very cool. Pay my loyalty in death. Live Alive launches on Nintendo Available Switch July 22nd. 22nd. Nice. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. This is definitely one to keep an eye out. Oh boy. So, Xenobate Chronicles 3 has been announced. And this looks so good. So good. Fighting in order to live. It was the hype. It was the last thing they showed, I think. Living to fight. This one looks so good. That's the way of our world. I can't wait for this one. Ionios. Tell me, what would possess you to side with them? We're fighting because there are enemies to kill. I refuse to believe you're him. I knew it. I saw this coming. You aren't. You're not enemies now. Fine for you, isn't it? All that time you've got. You could try. Clap. Try to move forward together. Yes. Yes, Nothing give it to me. His so oh, that looks so good. Man pierced by a great sword. It's the only way you're gonna defeat the real enemy. Oh, 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 oh this is so good. Have a life is lost. I won't let you soldier it all alone. What good filling up these flickering crops in our eyes? It will never replace the French. Holy shit, chat. This is gonna sell like hotcakes. All of the RPG fans. Oh, oh yeah. Give it to them. Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Available September. Okay. This year. Nice. Ah. It's so good. I can't stop saying that, but it is. Okay, early or late September, it doesn't even matter. September, okay? We're getting it this year.
Nice. Uh, the Assassin's Creed Ezio collection is coming to the Nintendo Switch, so these are actually good, very, very good Assassin's Creed games. So, why not? Two bonus short films and DLC. Plus, take advantage of enhanced features for the Nintendo Switch system on the go, including touchscreen controls, HD rumble, and optimized on screen display. <coughs> HD rumble. The Ezio Collection launches on Nintendo Switch February 17th. February 17th, okay. Uh, also, the Kingdom Hearts Integrum Masterpiece. Kingdom Hearts to Kingdom Hearts 3 and the Remind DLC. Every entry is coming to Nintendo Switch as cloud versions that can be played while connected to the internet. Relive or get to know these heart-filled adventures alongside Sora, Donald, Goofy, and more for the first time in TV, tabletop, or handheld mode. Kingdom Hearts Integrum Masterpiece for TV, cloud. tabletop, or it's handheld all mode. Three game collections Got soars it. onto Nintendo Switch tomorrow. Each collection's cloud version will also be individually available on Nintendo eShop. So you can actually buy them on the eShop as well. Okay, next we got a Cuphead thing. More Cuphead action awaits in it's the a DLC, DLC, I think. Cuphead, the delicious last course. Here, you'll explore a brand new Inkwell Isle. Defeat a bevy of new bosses with wild personalities and even wilder attacks. Cuphead is so fun. The clever Miss Chalice but... is a new playable character. Take Fury inducing bows with her double jumps, rolling dodges, and more. It's only for Cuphead skilled players. Last course, Not for the weak of heart. Onto Nintendo Switch June 30th. Nice. June 30th. And then we got a Star Wars thingamabab. The Force Unleashed. Is this gonna DMCA me? Does it, does it have original Star Wars music? Maybe. Um, so yeah, you can play, um, Darth Vader's Apprentice in this, uh, interesting Star Wars game for the Switch. Dual mode. Okay. Interesting. I don't know how good this game is going to be. Seems a little bit meh. Meh. Let's go on to something better. This is Atomic Heart story trailer and release window reveal. Moonfish. Oh. Would you like to get genius abilities or control robots with your mind? Don't worry, honey. I'm okay. The procedure went well. Today it's just a matter of getting a polymer injection to become What the The human of tomorrow Whoa. There's a man in the facility, he's armed and he's equipped with an experimental polymer glove. We have no chance. Become a part of the collective and acquire true superpowers. Hey, oh, this is cool. You okay? I'm okay. Get up. Want to learn Chinese in five minutes? Or maybe get a PhD in quantum physics in just one hour? With the launch of the Collective 2.0, all this knowledge will be available to anyone! Arriving shortly at your destination. Wow. ETA 1147. Whoa. Yeah, you shut up, boy. We've got 30 seconds. Let's go. 30 seconds to what? And then it's total be up his dad, son. That's what. This looks so good. 
humanity is doomed to eternal slavery. In two days, you will become unstoppable. Do not believe her. I don't even know who to believe anymore. You got two days, son. Oh my god, this looks so good and freaky, and I'm getting chills all over. 2023? Uh-huh. 22. Okay, this year. Um October played game on Game Pass day one. That is huge. Get your game pass ready, boys. If you don't got it, get it now. Next we got a Gr Crossfire X launch trailer. Oh my This one's a doozy as well. Let's take a look at it. Put some backup together. I have a bad feeling about this. Troops? No. Jets. Wow, this looks good. I mean, it's a cinematic trailer until now, but it still looks good. It's a nice job. I have no idea what this game is. Looter shooter? Shooter? Story shooter? Logan. Was that the I Buy Power logo? But on their terms, we're coming to the city. I don't trust them. We're gonna need a plan B. Just control. Exactly what you need. Wow, now that was cool. That's a cool clock concept. Time's up. your destiny it won't end here and we burn for eternity oh that's cool Nope. Oh boy. Well. 
Ah. <coughs> okay. Play free now. Crossfire X. Wait, what? It's free? Okay. I mean, the, the cinematic looked cool, but I have no idea. It's probably a shooter. Next, we got a Total War Warhammer 3 campaign multiplayer. Oh, this game is not going well for the video. Enter the Realm of Chaos, Warhammer 3's standard campaign, where up to eight players can battle it out in any configuration of cooperative or competitive mm. play. Delve into Cathay's darkest hour with the darkness and disharmony mode, where again up to eight players bring about Grand Cathay's salvation or its destruction. Or embark on a more intimate venture with up to three players in the Something Rotten in Kislev mode. These additional modes were designed primarily with this game is gonna ruin someone's life or a lot of people's a life because it's gonna take up a lot of their time. It, it's hard enough to get friends together as it is. I don't let's think this will ever end. You can do so much in it. Multiplayer campaign, players can choose to play as a team or go free for all. During the multiplayer campaign, all players will take their turns simultaneously, a first for the Total War series. Move quickly okay. enough, and you can avoid being attacked by another player by moving your army out of their reach. Once all players have ended their turn, the game moves on and the AI takes their turns. For those who prefer a slower paced campaign, the ability to have sequential turns remains in the game. When a player enters a battle, be that against AI or another player, players on the same team will automatically enter as a spectator on the side of their teammate. They can then be ah, granted units to by the ally in control. Should a player hold no allegiances in this battle, they can act like a mercenary and join whichever side they like. Bribing your friends into helping you out has never been more attractive. Well, that's this interesting. Is Warhammer like never before. Big, ambitious, and full of chaos. With more ways to play, more people to play against, and more instruments to wage war with, there's never been a better time to butcher your acquaintances. After all, <laughs> this is total war, not total friends. <laughs> Launching February 17th, nice. That, that was nice, what they said at the end. Fantasy Star Online 2 gets concerts. And this is a nice little thing to watch, I guess. Heatwave strikes New Genesis in February. Jazz up your adventures with this long-awaited in-game concert. Don't miss this moment. And... Dark Faust is about to strike. The adventure never ends. Cool. League of Legends has a little <clears throat> cinematic trailer. Uh, the treasure hunt begins. Wild Rift. These are always nice to watch. Uh, these guys are so cute. Oh no. They ate and trashed all of his things. Ooh, he can draw. He's on a mission, boys. Lunar reveal. Revel, Wild Rift. Okay. Uh, King of Fighters has a special animated short. So that's probably the NCAAble again, but I guess I can scream in your heads. King of Fighters. How's that? 
that's a nice little animation. No, I know that. I've, I've seen that before. Haja. Oh, it's still going. It's kind of long. Okay. So they're kind of showing off each and every character. With some of their abilities or ultras or things like that. This can easily be an in-game cinematic that can occur once in a while. Easily. Ghost hands. Okay. King of Fighters. Nice. Uh, we also got a Genshin Impact. Yae Miko character teaser trailer. A uh, new character is coming. I wonder how many characters do these guys actually have? Are my editors even doing their jobs? Wait, what? Huh? Ooh, this one's interesting. I won't be bored out of my mind tonight after all. L light novels and sake. Food always looks so good in these kind of games. Mm, the fried tofu is cooked to perfection, tender and juicy. The kushikatsu are freshly made, and the taste is quite to my liking. I'll take a few boxes worth to go, please. Oh, chat! I want that. I want the kushikatsu. Lady Guji is this world's best editor, if you ask me. She's a crafty fox who's always playing mind games. Truth be told, Yaimiko is an outstanding shrine maiden. Hey, she's that fox lady I ate ramen with that time. Oh, she's a scary lady who forces me to go to work. Yes, 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 I have no idea what the character can do. And the little girl that always wanted shoulder rides is all grown up. The human realm, okay. So she is one of the gods, maybe, coming coming to the human realm. Okay. We're slowly getting to the end. Uh, let's let's see. We got some little interesting official early access release trailer for Diplomacy is not an option. What is this gray hell? In the games for the win. Run, chicken. Oh, my God. Run. Boom. such a cool trailer oh my god run little chicken don't stop don't look back just keep on yes go to safety <laughs> oh my god holy shit blow him up guys Ah, oh, this is so good. This is so good. Nice nukes. <laughs> Diplomacy is not an option. Out now, guys. Next we got War Tales official early access release trailer again. Early access. Shiro games. Interesting art style. Explore a vast and open world. Cool. Oh. 
Okay, that looks interesting. Embrace the life of a mercenary. Okay, nice tactical ba uh, battles. I like that. You play the demo? That's cool. This is definitely a game for me. It looks like it. I'm loving everything I see here. Nice. Fight to survive. Kill the boar. Ooh. Live to tell the tales. War tales. Okay, I actually like this. I like this a lot. It has a lot of potential. I, I agree with you. Next, we got a Nintendo Switch launch trailer named Backbone. What is this, Grey Hell? Oh! I think I've seen this before. Driving me Shit. I hate the MCA-able things. Okay, this is actually a very interesting adventure game. Also detective and stuff like that. So we can't listen to the music, it's kind of weird. But available now, okay. Go check it out on the Switch. I think the game has been out for PC for a long time. Peggy seven. Next we got the Serpent Rogue official release date announced trailer. And we got one more after this one, guys, and we're finally through. What is this? Explore a mythical land. Actions have consequences. Wait, are we playing the Plague Doctor? Looks like it. Okay, gather herbs and stuff like that. Oh, there's fighting as well. This looks very promising. Coming April 26th. Okay, on all the platforms. I like to see that. The Serpent Rogue. Uh, here's a short one for Gundam. So Chibi Gundams get a game. Find out what's causing them and restore the proper timeline. Interesting. If you like Gundams, and if you definitely like the chibi style, uh, go check out this game. It looks kind of fun. Looks kind of fun. And the last one we got Rollers of the Realm Reunion. Official party and hero management trailer. It's a short one. I have no idea what this game is. Heroes Quest Journals Party Map by Cancel Granny? Granny style? Oh my god, it's a flipper. It's a flipper RPG? That's so cool. Oh my god. Guys, thank you for bearing through that. It, it, we had a shit ton to go through. Anyways... Hope you enjoyed that. I'll see you guys back again next time. Uh, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my day and get ready for work and all that. And um, yeah, have a great one. Thanks. Bye-bye.